Hello everybody, uh, Dr. Rick here dropping in on you. Look, uh, hopefully, uh, it, as in all my greetings, I hope that you are off to a great start in your year, your week, your aspirations, your desires, your dreams, your responsibilities, your goals, uh, as it pertains to this particular year. I hope that you're committed to something, fixed on something, and ready to make something happen. Uh, as it pertains to this particular channel and the work we do in the black community uh, in the areas of research, in the areas of program development, advocacy, and so much more, we will continue to do what we have done for the past three decades uh, with an intensified fervor to be a difference maker. Uh, with that uh, in mind, if you like what you see in here on this channel click the like button click the share button and subscribe for those who are aware enough of what we do and how we've done done it and what we will continue to do based on uh our our resume and our record uh we need your support there's so much to do in the area of research program development and the programs that we have on deck uh i'm actually doing a symposium on uh Epigenetics, multi-generational trauma, adverse childhood experiences on the 27th of this month uh, for the Harris County Sheriff's Office, University of Houston, and uh, a couple of other entities. But we need your support. So again, look in the description box and see how you can give. Look, this isn't going to be long right here, but it is definitely something that we need to discuss. Um, I've heard this term for some time now tossed around. It's not a new term, but it is gaining steam because there are actually guys now going around doing videos, teaching and advising and instructing uh, guys how to be a homosexual. Okay, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, let me explain to you what it means and then give some clarity to it even deeper a homosexual general, generally refer, refers to a male who basically uh, has sex for the purpose of having a roof over his head so he finds a woman that he can target that he can put it on uh, in a way that he can have a place to sleep sometimes short term a couple of nights uh, and in some instances, it might last a couple of weeks or even a month or two. Um, and it's to my dismay, seemingly some science of, about the approach of doing this. Um, I personally uh, look at it from a, diff a completely different perspective as a man and seeing a man doing this than I do as when a woman does it. Women do it too. Women uh, will, you know, use sex as a means of getting in and finding a nice sweet spot to land for a while. Uh, but, and I don't approve it. I don't condone it. But as a man, I believe in a certain standard. Now, let me let me make this clear. A man being down on his luck is not a disqualification of his manhood him being okay with being there, him looking for any other way than hard work, planning, and strategy to come out of it is a problem. A man who literally has decided that my come up is to suck the life out of women who have worked hard to put themselves in a position to have their own place, to be in a way uh, to do something is absolutely trifling and a travesty and a misrepresentation of manhood as it stands in general and an absolute unacceptable approach to black manhood with everything that we have going against us we need our men to be on our deck and this isn't to sit up and say that this doesn't happen with every racial group but we're talking about black men and the idea that this is okay um, this isn't the discussion I want to make sure that we distinguish this. This isn't the discussion to uh, hump in on who should make the most money, who should pay all the bills and all that shit. 
This is not what this is about. This is about a person who is specifically targeting women with the goal of having sex with them so that they can have a place to sleep and eat and do jack shit. Um, and if you don't like my vernacular, you don't like my tone, I, I, I don't apologize for it. I'm not here to entertain. I'm not here to pretend I'm something I'm not. I am a scholar. I have put in hard work over decades to produce massive uh, amounts of research and dissertate. Uh, I don't know how much of my findings as well as disseminate how much of the information I have flowing through my mind at any, any given time. Uh, I don't need to prove myself and I don't need to uh, pigeonhole myself into some space that somebody thinks I should be in and what I wear and how I speak. So that's out of the way. Uh, let's get the let's get the year off on the right spot. I told you uh, when I started this on YouTube and social media 15 years ago. I wasn't here to entertain people. I wasn't here to be like. I wasn't here to be popular. I came to win and to show my people how to win. Sometimes you're gonna love me. Sometimes you're gonna hate me. But you're gonna always know I'm bringing you the truth. So, look. Here's the thing. The guy who is going around saying this is basically telling guys, here's what you do. You find a woman who's got her own path, pad, got her own thing, uh, learn her work schedule, and then you, you get her to come over to her pad, uh, her crib, or whatever you want to call it. And when you get there, you put it on her. You give it, you give her that, you give her that good good. And that's not what he said, but that's what I'm saying. You give it a good good. You can use your own imagination. And you put it on her and you know, and after you do that, you fall asleep. Whether you gotta fake it or whatever, you fall asleep. You sleep. Make sure you spend the night. And when she wakes up to go to work in the morning, you gotta you gotta make sure you go over on the night that she's gotta go to work the next day. And when she wakes up to go to work in the morning, you stay asleep. And she's gonna look at you and she's gonna say, "Oh, that's so cute." And she's gonna like the way you look there because you know, hey, she's been lonely. She wants somebody to wake up to, and it looks good. And so she leaves you there or whatever. And when she comes home, still be there, you know? And I'm like, the mind games that are being played in, this isn't about the fact that, this isn't the suggestion that black women or any woman doesn't play games, absolutely. Everybody's out there playing games. That's why I refuse to get out there that bull crap. Everybody's playing games. Everybody's got an agenda. Everybody's got ulterior motives. Uh, nobody's trying to build nothing. Nobody's trying to develop anything. Nobody's ready to make the compromise and the sacrifices necessary to build re real, true, uh, lasting relationships. And it's a shame because there's so much that could be done for the people who are willing to do that. But unfortunately, that's not where we are right now. And so, um, with that being said, uh, my my thing is first and foremost, I'm gonna. Uh, drop this on the sisters real quick sisters understanding your value knowing your value isn't a statement saying i know my worth doesn't mean jack shit okay let me let's keep it real it's your, your value is about what you accept what you accept determines your value what you tolerate determines your value Whatever you receive says, this is who I am. You can't accept mistreatment. You can't accept uh, lethargy. You can't accept, trifle, accept trifle, trifleness uh, and then say, I deserve this. This is what I'm worth. No, it, once you accept something, you have said, I'm willing to have this and you automatically reduce your value. You have to make up in your mind. Number one, you stop inviting men to your house. I'm gonna tell you now, when I do find somebody that I'm interested in, I'm not going to that place until we are already in a uh, monogamous relationship at some at some stage. You know, we know we are just us and we're dealing with us. And then I might enter into her space, but I will already established who I am, what I'm what I'm expecting, what uh, the fact that I can meet whatever it is she's expecting. She will know enough about me to feel safe in her space. And she will know enough about me that no matter what, I come to add and not take away. Uh, but women, stop inviting guys over. Stop giving away the cookie the moment some guy comes in and whispers something in your ear. Trust me, I know what it feels like 
to be backed up. I know what it feels like to, to, to want to feel the touch of, of, of another person. But I'm going to tell you something. I've lost enough of me over the course of my life just grabbing a hold to something and uh, trying to fill in something until some, the next real thing comes along that sometimes I didn't have everything I needed in me to be everything I should be. And I left these little crumbs uh, of myself and I brought the straggling darkness of what they were with me. You cannot merge that deeply with someone and not share yourself and take some of them. And if their intentions aren't good, you're bringing darkness into your world and likely sharing it with a person when you finally meet somebody that doesn't deserve to feel that darkness. That's one thing. Uh, so you've got to protect the value of yourself. And I know in this day and age and time where there's this sexual liberation and everybody feels you can do whatever you want to. I'm not talking from a religious perspective. I'm talking now I have my faith in God and I have my belief of what God expects, but it's not religious. It's it's a direct. Hey, God wants the best of me and the best of God is in me. And therefore, I need to be trying to be the best version of myself. And that can't be done if I'm just jumping in in and out of situations and in and out of beds and all this other thing. And so uh, the thing is, you got to carry yourself in a way that, may, and here's the thing, men will pick low hanging fruit, but they are climbing the damn tree if they have to. Your job is to make him climb the tree. Your job, not in playing games. Don't play the damn uh, hard to get bullshit and all this other stuff that people play. When I say make him climb the tree, have a set of standards. No, until you show me that you're committed to me, this doesn't happen. Until you show me you want to marry me, this doesn't happen. Until you marry me, this doesn't happen. There have to be these stages that you protect yourself in. And you have to have a value system that equates to the ultimate goal you're trying to reach or you will always come up short. Now, the other thing is this, men. There's a standard that is declarative, declarative or a declaration of our manhood. I'm not saying, again, that we can't hit hard times. I've been there. I've hit, I've hit rock bottom. But there was always a passion to get up and bust my ass to get up. Um, there's always been something that I brought to the table. There's always been a yearning. And in my weaker moments, I wasn't satisfied in that weakness. It was literally torture to be in a space where I didn't feel like I was at full strength. And to see guys out here literally plotting and planning to be basically a devastating force in the life of a woman so that they can have this life of ease. My whole thing is, how much do you think you're going to get bringing nothing to the table over the long haul? You're going to eventually your little man, man ain't going to work the way it used to. Eventually you're going to start to age. Eventually your darkness is going to catch up with you and you will not, not have built anything because you would have been sucking life out of everything that someone else built that darkness that you brings come back comes back to you you cannot escape the law of the universal law of reciprocity what you put out comes back and so my suggestion to you is that we as men also are going to have to hold other men accountable and the one thing that i'm excited about and i love about the men in my circle is that we hold one another accountable we challenge one another to be at our best we recognize that none of us are perfect and that we want to be better for those of us who are married those of my friends who are married uh the goal is to be better husbands and to be uh better fathers those of us who are not married but looking to be married we are striving to be prepared when the opportunity presents itself and that's emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, financially, and all of the other ways. And we're working together as a group. And I'm telling you, one of the biggest things that uh, has happened in my life since I've become, quote, unquote, uh, single is the development of friendships 
that aren't simply casual, let's kick it, let's hang, but to build, to grow, to create something, to project ourselves out beyond our lifetime. And you don't get to do that when you're sitting up trying to be a quote unquote homosexual. So with that in mind, look, I, I, I'm like, I'm just blown away that we actually have this thing going on where it's actually acceptable. You know, it's one thing if you out there moving around like that on the low and you, you know, you, you, you know, you shady, you know, it's bullshit and you trying to figure out how to get to the next thing until you can figure some things out. It's one thing. It's still bullshit. But at least you know it's bullshit. But the idea that somebody is comfortable enough to get online and show their face and teach it as if it's a real win, like it's a fucking job, it, it, it completely blows my mind. And as men, we've got to do a better job of checking that shit. So, like I said, man, I'm, I'm calling all bullshit. And my thing is, I'm not judging anybody. I'm calling bullshit. You struggling, you down, you going through, things are hard, you're doing your best, that's one thing. You made a mistake, that's one thing. But if you are consistently shady in your movement, if you are consistently antithetical to back black progress, I'm coming for you in 2024. Just know it. I I I, I cannot sit by and just let us totally implode as a culture, as a race as a group of people with so much exceptional creativity. Our creativity, we had this discussion last night, our creativity is unparalleled, and yet we are perpetually powerless because we are doing bull crap like this. So on that note, look, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here again. If you like what you hear, click the uh, like button, click the share button, and subscribe. If you believe in the work we're doing and the areas we're doing it, and there are some other links, you can just check out what we do and all that stuff, the books that I've written and published and uh, research and so much others. The uh, organization's website is also out there so you can find a whole lot more about what we do. Uh, but if you believe in what we do and you've been around enough to know what I do and what I'm about, you want to support the work we're doing, look in the description box uh, and give. There are a number of different ways you can give, including our organization's Cash App account. So on that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.